Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly air quality monitoring and how we can easily convert the unit mole per meter square nitrogen dioxide. And here you find out all of those details information about this data set. So here you can see this is the data set. Um, we can get the data set from year of 2018-0628 from 2024-31 January. At this time we can get this data set. And here you can see this is the data set uh, Cinepet as well as we can get the data set provided. It's mainly provide European Union ES Copernicus. And here I can get all of the description about this data set. And I also get about all of those band. Okay. So also you can see the image properties. So now I want to use this data set. Basically, here you can see this is the one kind of band about this data set. This band name is that a nitrogen column number density. Okay. And here we can get the unit mainly mole per meter square. But in this time, I will show you that how we can easily convert this unit in micromole per meter square. And further, how we can easily make the time series chart using this data set. So let's go. I will try to show you all of those things step by step. I hope you can easily learn uh, these things and you can easily apply it. Okay. So first of all, I just simply open a new code editor. You can see. So first of all, I need to import this data set. So how I can import? Very easy. You just simply open this data set information page about that and copy this art engine snippet. I just simply copy and then paste in my code editor. I simply uh, increase this size. Okay. So now here you can see I can get and now I just give a variable name. You can put any variable name and JavaScript programming you must use the bar keyword before the variable name. So just I give a variable name and for the variable name, I must use the bar keyword and then I put any name. I put the name suppose data set and put the equal sign. So now here you can data set. In this time, you can see this data set have different types of bands. You can see it's the nitrogen column number density. We can find out the tropospheric nitrogen column number density. We find out the stratospheric nitrogen column number density. We can get nitrogen dioxide slime column number density. Troposphere. So we can see different types of band. Okay. But in this time, I want to work only for the specific band. So just I simply copy and then use a function select and then further paste this my band so in this time from this image collection i just choose only one specific band mainly nitrogen column number density and here you can see this data set is available between this time period okay but i want to work for a specific time period mainly uh, one month or two month or any specific time period I want to work. So further, I just simply use another function, mainly this function called the filter date function. So just uh, I take the new line and then use here this function filter date and then put start and end date. Suppose I want to observe the data set for year of 2014, first January from year of 2014 suppose for January uh, 31 okay so now let me check how many images collection are available between this time period for the whole world print function and call this data set and use a function size so now it printed how many images are available between the whole world between this time period year up to 2014 month of January? Yeah, 
find out total 409 images okay and this image is what is the unit about this image this image unit is mainly you can already show mole per meter squared but in this time i want to convert it micromole to meter square so let's go how we can easily convert for that i just use a function so just use here the map function and then create a function i put this function element name emails and further i just simply put my argument my argument is the return this emails multiply a one specific value basically micro so for that i simply multiply with this number so here you can see this is the value about that micro and i want to copy these properties so just use here the copy proper this and this image and apply it m time start as well as also system time and okay so now all of those images mainly 409 images convert into micromole per meter square so now i want to make this chart about that then i can get the chart in micromole per meter squared so now let's check about the chart for creating the chart mainly we are using a function this function called ui dot chart dot image dot space okay so this is the function here you find out the image collection region reducer or scale x property image collection mainly how many images you want to use i want to use total 409 images just i simply copy my data set and then use here now region mainly what's your boundary so in this time i just simply imported my specific boundary from my asset tab now you can see this shape file details information and i already imported this boundary shape file and if you don't know how to import the boundary shape file you can check my other video i hope you can easily get it how we can easily upload the boundary shape file so now i just use this shape file and i give a variable name to this shape file suppose roi you can put any name as a variable and then region mainly roi i use here time i want to use here e dot dot mean basically i have to calculate the average time series chart and this scale is the resolution mainly it's 100 1113.2 meter resolution of this data set and then x property i just simply use a system So now here you can see I put all of those things. So now I just print this. So in this time I just simply use a print function. So print and then this parenthesis about that print function. Now click run. In this time it generating the time series chart and we can get the time series chart. This result show as a micromole per meter square because i multiply with this value all of the same so here you can see this is the chart here you can get this type of value here you can see for the january 2 we can get 337.964 micromole per meter square also you can see the highest value about that uh, for the january 21 we can get the value uh, 605.941 micromole meter square result we can get this micro mole okay so basically this is the process for convert my mo mole to micro mole okay just simply multiply this value then it will be work so now i want to show this result in my map about that so very easy just we are using a function map dot add layer and i want to add the layer from this data set simply copy and paste 
suppose 10 click run so now it display my result on my map and also view on the center of this map because i use a function map dot center object so here you can see it loaded a layer new layer in this time we can get totally a white color background so i can easily set the color from here suppose i click on here and i just simply stressed 98 percent and further i set the color suppose color plated suppose i set this color this type of color and then get it then i simply use uh, this type of color get it then i use this type of color so just to simply uh, use this type of color and high i need to show this type of red color okay so then further apply so now this color is added in my map here you can see and uh, if you want you can simply click on the import button you can see you simply copy this variable and paste after the object name so this is my object The layer name suppose no 2 okay, put name. so now it will be set at this map here you can see okay so now we can get this type of color and here we can find out uh, this type of region is the high concentration of nitrogen oxide this type of region will show about the low concentration about that okay so now we can easily get this type of colorful map and from here we can easily get the distribution between that nitrogen dioxide for different places so here you can see and this unit is the mole per meter square if you want to check for the specific uh coordinate click on the inspector tab and here you can see suppose i click on here so now we can get what is the value about that for a specific coordinate we get the 308.34 micro mole of nitrogen dioxide for this coordinate suppose i click on here so now i can get what is the coordinate about that we can get the 120 uh in this time if you want to check about the validation about this data set so first of all you simply go to the ground and then you try to identify about that a uh, nitrogen dioxide so basically this is the process for working with the data set and convert this type of thing suppose micromole uh if you want you can also try to use the another conversion okay suppose in this time in this time i just simply multiply these things then it easily convert into micromole and now if you want you can simply export this map as a raster or tip format images and further if you want you can, you can easily use here that uh qgs software or if you want you can also use here the art map software to make the beautiful map for your research paper for your presentation work okay so basically today is no more and if you have any question you can simply comment in this section i also try to give this answer and in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically we also take the live training session and you can easily join this type of live training session and you can get all of this material and you can easily learn from all of those things from beginners to advanced level so now this registration is the open for seven days online training program on google earth engine for remote sensing and gis analysis for beginners to advanced level all of those things i will try to display in this online training program and this class will be start from the 16 february education last it is the 14 february and first 10 days people will get the 50 percent discount now only four seats are available to get this 50 percent discount and uh, class will take friday and saturday in a week we take the class live training session and class duration for each day three hours okay this is the time about that and uh, language mainly english and if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number or if you want you can also contact with this uh, email you can easily get all of those things in the video description and you can easily uh, check it and contact with us so basically in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level of google earth engine for your remote sensing analysis if you have no knowledge in coding section such as python or javascript don't worry about that we will start from the stress level and up to the all of those things explore one by one so if you have no knowledge in the coding such as python or javascript 
don't worry about that you can learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and i already added all of those things in the video description you can simply check all of those course content from first day second day third day or fourth day or fifth day sixth day seventh day you can easily check and um, if you want to uh, you can also get the some more benefit when you want to join this online training program you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of this assignment you can get the all of this material mainly slide pdf all of those necessary document you can easily get you can get the practice code so basically uh, this type of practice code you can easily use in your project work you can get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training session you can easily recover using the recorded class and live training teaching support it's very important because as a beginner when you want to learn the google earth engine at a fast step you face lot of problems so that's why you need the continuous support okay so that's why when you want to join this online training program in one time you can get the lifetime teaching support for that google earth engine platform for any issue you can join you can easily get the support and get the solution and you can easily smoothly you can learn the google earth engine platform okay so you can easily join you can simply contact in this whatsapp number or also contact with this email then registration and, and book your seat so now only three seats are available for this um, 50 percent discount so as soon as possible you can contact and then confirm your registration so today is no more stay safe stay happy thank you for watching that